everyone how's it going hope you're having a fantastic day and we are getting going on fall work we've got bushes we're doing we've got dead trees we're getting cleaned up we've got uh overgrown stuff you know flowers getting all them cut back in this video we've got all kinds of stuff happening so make sure you're watching clear to the end of the video it helps the channel more than anything and uh, if you're liking the content consider subscribing it's a free click all you have to do is hit that subscribe button it's free it doesn't cost you a thing it doesn't charge me a thing it uh, it's awesome check it out you'll get notified uh, you know when I have uh, new videos come out uh, make sure you click the bell icon and turn it to all so you get all the notifications so that you know when we upload a new video so you can keep track of what we've been up to and how things are going but to start off, we are in early October here. This is probably, I think, the 2nd or 3rd of October. And we are uh, just getting rid of some dead stuff, getting stuff ready for winter. Uh, this small tree was um, dead and <laughs> just made the, est the rest of the uh, landscape look terrible. Um, so we got rid of it. Um, it was very simple. It will dry out uh, what we did keep and we'll use it for firewood next year. Uh, actually, some of it might be able to be used for firewood this year. It just depends on uh, what, uh, what we use it for. It's not really that tall. It's maybe, I don't know, 20, 23 feet tall. Uh, not very tall tree. Uh, it's been dead for a couple years now. And uh, there's a little side road there. We wish what didn't want that to fall out into the uh, road and cause any problems. And it stormed or something, so we went ahead and cut it down. We also cut down uh, the uh, burning bushes that you see around the bottom. Those were overgrown, and we've got some new plans for there in the spring. And uh, going to be doing something different there. Uh, it's kind of hard to see from the garage, you know, across the street or anything because those bushes made pretty much a blinder, so it was very hard to uh, to see, uh, you know, across the street. It makes it more of a blinder. So we got rid of it. The weather we've been having here is super, super awesome. It actually feels like fall. It doesn't feel like summer and fall. We've been having highs in the mid to low 70s and lows at night anywhere from uh, uh, very, very low 40s to uh, upper 40s at night. Uh, we do have a pretty good frost coming here this weekend around the uh, 8th of, uh, 7th and 8th of October. I think they say temperatures are going to get down in the uh, low 30s uh, we would have widespread frost so it wouldn't be a super killing frost but they're saying that a lot of vegetation is going to get burnt and stuff so uh, end of growing season is pretty much done I haven't really mowed much lately in the last um, three weeks we haven't had much rain uh, at all in September and here we, we just got uh, as I'm making this video here on uh, this day we just got a few little light showers early this morning maybe a tenth of an inch if that just enough to wet the ground and uh, farmers are going crazy around here the dust is flying the, the allergies are going nuts the sneezing and, and coughing and all that stuff's going crazy too but uh, we're getting through it the leaves are starting to change some trees are further along than others um, but uh, they're, they're getting there I feel like here probably towards the end of the month things are going to pick up and uh, we're going to be busy So, just for you guys, I did kind of a one-of-a-kind uh, special effects shot here. Uh, you're getting ready to see that here in just a few minutes. It's uh, 
it's kind of crashing shot, but uh, I hope you enjoy it. I, uh, I made the liberty to make a really, really cool shot, and uh, it's about to happen, so check this out. Yep, I dropped a limb on my GoPro. What, 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 what do you say, Richard? There ain't no way I'm going up there. Oh, well, it looks like you're down there, and I'm down there at the moment, but now, oh, look at that, now I'm up here. I love helping people, though, and I love seeing sights like this. Just, uh, yeah. All right, well, you remember that, uh, what do you call it, uh, area that we did the, the trees around there? Well, guess what? No, that one's done. <laughs> it's in pieces, but I got it cut down. So, yeah. So Give me something to hold on to. Hold on to. Alright, so here we are at a house I've done lawn care for all season. And we have uh, been asked to pretty much take all her bushes and shrubs down. Uh, you know down to the ground except for some of the stuff like the bushes here this is a green gem boxwood that has never been trimmed according to uh, the owner her uh, late deceased husband uh, said she didn't think he had ever um, had trimmed it and I said well we'll give her a good trim in this year and next year we'll trim some more off of it in the spring and eventually get it back to where it will uh, be manageable a lot easier uh, one thing with boxwoods, you don't want to take a lot off of them at one time. You want to kind of gradually work them down. If you take too much off of them at one time, you can kill them. Uh, you want to be able to lighten them up so that sunlight can penetrate down into the bush and it will allow uh, new growth deeper down into it. And then as you trim it, you won't have any bare spots. So we're going to hopefully make them smaller next spring. So we did take a little bit off of those and they do look good. Here we are getting ready to cut down these uh, hydrangeas. Uh, these are the great big plant that has the giant flowers on them. Uh, these are the kind that you cut back in the fall. Uh, you cut them clear to the ground and they come back every single year. She said leave about anywhere from a half inch to an inch sticking up and uh, that's what I've done. I've always seen people take them down clear to the ground. Uh, this also was kind of suffocating her uh, not really suffocating, but it was probably inhibiting some airflow to her air conditioner unit there. So I went ahead and cut that back, and next year we're going to manage that a lot more to where it does not uh, inhibit airflow to her air conditioner because we do not want her being hot in the summer heat. Um, we want her staying cool and, and hydrated and healthy in the, the hotter months. So we're hopefully going to make that look a lot better next year. All of that cleaned up. I will be cutting these down, but I'll wait till they die from the frost. I got all that cleaned up. I am gonna try to monitor this a little bit better because I'm gonna plant some grass down in here. So it uh, it looks pretty good. We got the box uh, boxwoods trimmed up. They didn't look pretty nice. Look how nice those look. They've never been trimmed, she said. Got them looking pretty good. And we trimmed some stuff up there. Richard's hard at work loading up all the stuff. And then we've got, it's my time to take a break. It's Coke 30.